Alright, so this is Danny Gold with Vice. Uh, we are tagging along with the Bed Stuy Voluntary Ambulance Corps. And we just got a call for a uh, wounded pedestrian, so we're on the way. I believe that we are all here for a purpose. And my purpose is to save lives and change lives and teach these kids that it's better to save a life than to take a life. I'm a cripple stripper. <laughs> she is crippled. Cripple stripper. Guys, I've been saying calls have been coming in all day. It's been pretty hectic. So I think it's going to be a long, long night of running around. Do we have an idea of the sort of condition that the people are in there or no? No, we have no clue. What we know is that it's a car accident and people are hurt. In late October, Vice News spent a few nights with the bed Stuy Volunteer Ambulance Corps to get a feel for what they go through every shift. We don't want to get into an accident going. We don't want to get hit while we're on the scene all these different things because it's Atlantic Avenue. Um, you want to stay calm and relaxed because you don't want to anticipate injuries. You want to be prepared for anything. Yeah, this is the car accident. Is anyone injured? I don't know. My, my friends are in the backseat of shit that I had. Looks like it was a minor accident, but, um, you know, minor injuries. Tensions are getting kind of heated, and uh, our friends and the Navalis are sort of right in the middle of it. Oh, it's perfect. 120 over 70. Win right now or yes, tomorrow right morning? Now. Oh, okay. Right now. Okay. Well, it's my duty to advise you that the best thing for you to do is seek immediate medical attention. Uh, however, if you don't want to go to the hospital, like I told I you before, money, baby. we all do. Trust me. That's why we all working. Actually, we volunteering. So, <laughs> but uh, in doing any case, something better. Yeah. Doing something way better than that. Doing something for the community. I appreciate that. Go black man. We rule. Oh. I appreciate that. Yeah, we're always living on the edge here at Bed Stuy. We're constantly on the edge. That's I think that's why we can relate so much to our community, is because when we walk in their home, you can see they're living on the edge too. A lot of times they don't want to go to the hospital. They're like, oh, you're gonna send us a medical bill and I can't afford to pay it. And Bed Stuy is like, well, we barely could afford to pay for the gas to get you to the hospital, but we're gonna do whatever we can, regardless. It doesn't matter. They ain't gonna bill me like a thousand dollars. Of course they are. Of course not. That's why we have insurance. Uh, when we have our patients, uh, we actually will ask them, do you have any type of insurance? Uh, if not, then it's a free call. It's a free ride for them. But I won't worry about finances until you check on your leg. Worry about finances well, I later. I gotta, mm -hmm. let me tell you something. I don't give a fuck about this leg. I gotta make sure I gotta keep secure my, my where I live at. That's my most important. I don't, if I don't make money, I don't eat. I don't sleep. I don't got family. I don't got none of that shit. So at the end of the day, it's me. What do you do? A dancer. That's why I said I'm aggravated right now. Because I drive off my tips. I'm a cripple stripper. <laughs> she is crippled. Cripple stripper. Coming to you live from Brooklyn, New York. With my cripple foot. I know I'm out. Bye. I started with the Bedford Stuyvesant and Voluntary Ambulance Corps because of my father mainly. My father is the CEO of the organization and uh, he basically uh, would not stop until I became a paramedic so he almost made me come and uh, work with the Volleys. Well you got, uh, I, I learned this yesterday, you got 19 kids. Yeah well, like I said, uh, during the day, back in the day, I was a rapper, I entertainer, and everybody wanted to have kids by me. And back in, hey, I ain't gonna lie, I don't have a halo on my head all, all the time, you know? And I love sex. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, can't, I should just be here, I should go to the bar with you, I can learn a few things over there. That's cool. <laughs> What's the history of the Bachelor Volunteer in the school? Well, here's the deal. I saw this group called Hazola, a Jewish ambulance corps, when I was working with EMS. And when we got on the scene, Hazola already had their people to the hospital. 
But then when we respond in the ghetto, in the so-called hood, you know, the person was dead most of the time because the ambulance took too long to come. And I said, you know what? If they could do it in the Jewish community, I could do it in this community. Following the untimely death of his niece, which was directly related to a lack of medical care in his bed community, Rocky became an EMS tech. The 1980s was the height of the crack epidemic, and it hit the commander's bed neighborhood really hard. Stem steady burning. It goes to five days high. It's like 24-7. You're yeah, at the crack spot. So you had a lot of shootings, a lot of stabbings, and damn near on every block was a crack house. If I'm not the solution, then I'm the problem too. Let me take my training and establish an EMS volunteer in the so-called hood. Facing a number of obstacles and with little help, Rocky pushed to establish the Bed-Stuy Volunteer Ambulance Corps. He started by clearing out a nearby crack-infested lot and setting up a headquarters. The drug dealers that we had towed out in their crack house, they shot out our windows and everything, man. They killed our dog because they were trying to intimidate us. And that was the beginning of the Bed-Stuy EMS. Put your fist around their waist and, and make, make their food, food come, come out their, their face. face. You guys, I mean, this is an entirely funded by donations organization. I mean, how do you guys keep going? Okay, if it's not for the funding, and it's not from the revenue from the core, mm -hmm. which Medicare and Medicaid could deny us anytime they want, believe it or not, LB to command his pension. Whatever the core need, he buys directly with his card. He's always using his pension in order to um, fund, fund the organization. Mr. Jonas! We started mainly to save lives, mainly to save the people that was on the street, but we also wanted to change lives. Our necessity has weaned more off of you need an ambulance, you need an ambulance too, you need a job, you need a job. So these people that's on welfare and have no other ways out, don't know the connections or ways to plug in, we give them that opportunity. So bed -Stuy now is more of a primary life-changing career starting organization, but we'll start you in your career field. To your position, please, yeah, inside. Really enough, we're on the set of a film here. It looks like two pedestrians were struck and the call went over. FDNY was here first, they took care of one of the patients, and now Antoine's negotiating with another one to see if he wants to go to the hospital or not. He seems like he's declining their services. The patient only speaks Spanish. Luckily, I have EMT Maria. I called her on my cell phone, so if you go over to the patient and you speak no Spanish, they're very distrustful of you. But I handed him this phone, and Maria was speaking Spanish to him, so he was very much more trustful to go to the hospital uh, with us. So we was able to convince him to go. And one, two, three. I don't think he was afraid of the FDNY or anything like that, but we're volunteers. We try, we go the extra mile to try our best to help out our patient. So that's why I think he was a little bit more comfortable going with us. You gotta wipe the sleep out of your eyes. You gotta shake it off when you get tired sitting in class. Get up, go get you some sugar, some, um, water, some carbohydrates, so you can stay up to four hours and absorb this material, get on that ambulance, and then replicate it by doing what you're sitting in class learning. Got me? Who are we? What are we? You damn right. The People's EMS means the people gave us that name because they trust us. Now let's say it right this time. What are we? The People's EMS. What do we do? Save lives. What do we want? They're flashing us already. And she is laid out. Uh, this is bad. Ma'am, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Huh? Okay, good. 
All right, Julie, my name is Antoine. We're gonna get you out of here, okay? Okay, let's log roll her and get her on. Get her on that boy. Watch that arm, though. Inspect it to see if it's broken or anything real quick. All right, she didn't moan. Okay, you could cross it over. We might have to take her to the city, bro. She might have to go to Bellevue. One, two, three. We got head trauma right now. If you got ALS coming, that will work. Uh, other than that, we just need to get her out of here. Uh, James, where you go? What are y'all waiting for? All right, what hurts on you, dear? What hurts? Everywhere. Uh, she was responsive only to pain when we first initially got to her. Vital signs is being set as we uh, speak, and we're completely assessing her right now. Yeah, the car hit and uh, left. The car left. Good, good. Can you squeeze my hands? Squeeze, squeeze tight, squeeze hard. Excellent, excellent. I'm just gonna clean up your face a little bit, okay? Okay, how much did you drink? Do you remember what happened? No. Okay. I think we're coming up on the hospital right here. I think she was hit by a car who took off and ran, so it was a hit and run. I don't know how long she was there for, but we got there really quick. These guys jumped her into action and took care of her. Everybody's waiting for me to die, but God has his own time and place for me. And I'm sure that I'm not gonna die until it's his time. He's the one. And then when I do, I'm sure that I got other people gonna take my place. In 1969, your mom and daddy was getting down. You was just a baby. Godfather the Rock was on the scene. Get down with the record machine with a hip. Uh -huh. A did dip to dip to dip to dip to dip. Don't you stop. Throw one hand in the air. Put the other one in your underwear. Say, ooh, I like it. <laughs>